Right, what we're doing is we are going to be manipulating the shading of our charts. With the HDS Carbon, it's very simple. It seems to work on all the charts and it just works without any glitches. However, on the TI and on the uh, Gen 3, there seems to be some problems, people having little problems here and there. So let's deal with that now. And how do we create the custom shading? Go to your charts. I've put in my local chart here. I go to my chart options. I go to view and I go to shading and there's nothing. Can't do any shading. This is this particular chart. Okay, um, this is a chart that is supplied by our local distributor in my country and it's on the loans and there's nothing I can do with it. it. It won't give me any form of shading, which is sad. So what we did was we said, but what about Genesis Live? So we went out on the water, we collected some data for Genesis Live and we're going to pop on Genesis Live. Here we go. And... <clears throat> Okay, now we got more detail. Uh, obviously, not everything's been done. This was just a, a couple of hours running up and down with the autonomous craft. Um, we go to Genesis Live Options, and here's the problem. We've got to change this depth palette to Chart Sync. Guys, the unit that I'm using here is an Elite TI-5. Okay, and there's no change. Now you want to go back. You want to go and see if there's any uh, shading options there we go view and again there's no shading options there's nothing we can do here so we've run into somewhat of a problem so what do we do what i've done in this case um let's go to chart options um let me go back i'm going to turn this genesis live off for now but i'm going to show you what you need to do um, Let's go to Navionics and <clears throat> you go to your uh, CMAP Genesis account. If you don't have one, go and sign up for it. It's all free of charge and you download your local chart for your local body of water. Uh, what we do in my case is um, I've been chatting to a guy in the United States. He's from Alabama. Okay, here we go. Let's go close to his house and we're going to go to our chart options. This is Pickwick Lake. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> okay. Now, this is the free social map and there's these maps for all over the world. So go and get your free map. <coughs> go to view. Now you see shading is highlighted. You see I've got depth one on, you can turn that off, that's your standard view, you can go into that, you can go into custom, and now a lot of the guys say, yeah, but this is all there is. Guys, you actually have to touch the screen, touch the screen in that place, go to the depth range, set in whatever your um, range is that you want to put in, and uh, you say, okay, we say that's the first 10 feet. Start with a custom color that you might like as your shallowest area. Uh, let's go with that. You say, okay. You see now it's still blue. And you say, oh, but it didn't change. It didn't do anything. Tap on the next line. Whoop. See, your 10 feet has now changed. So that is step number one. I've done a couple of shortcuts. So I've already, in the background, I've gone and manipulated depth shading two you can have two custom colors which you like okay and you just go and add 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 i've left one open here so we're going to do this as a hundred foot range there we go you can say okay and that will be our deepest darkest blue okay, i can't seem to get my finger up to the top there okay but anyway you get the idea so okay that's done we close that okay you see how it's changed color we're going to change that and turn that off that will go back to your standard c map to your social map colors we're going to go to palette number two now we've got those those colors okay now we're in business so what do we do now now you can go back to your um let's say your 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 uh, cmap genesis chart for example i'm just going to go back 
and as you'll see on my local dam I now have my custom my custom colors which is great but how do we get this to apply to our CMAP Genesis charts because we also want the CMAP Genesis charts to to do the same thing it's actually quite easy you can go back but we want to we're going to go chart options let's change this back to Lawrence <coughs> these are Lawrence um, this chart um, this is one of those charts that you can't physically change the the, the contours on, uh, unfortunately. If you've got one of these type of charts, guys, there's nothing you can do. Uh, you go to view, you go to shading, and there's nothing that you can do. But even with this chart, what you can do is go to the overlay, go to your Genesis Live, and there we go. Now you've got the color. What I've done in this case is I've uh, just got a new SAS Planet, and we've quickly um, downloaded some satellite imagery here. So we're going to go to photo overlay, we're going to go full. And guys, now you've got your satellite imagery in the background, your original chart contours uh, on, on top of the satellite imagery. And then you've got your lovely full color Genesis Live on top of everything. The little Elite 5 Ti, which I'm using here, is a little bit slow. Boom, there we go. And that's how you do it. This is a little tip from me, John Easton uh, from Fishtech in South Africa.